What's up everybody, thanks for checking this out. Today I'm gonna to show you five upgrades for your Model 3. What, you don't love the Model 3 unconditionally and think all its little flaws are just cute? Well, if you can't handle the Model 3 at its worst, you don't deserve it at it. No, it's a car and every car has flaws. And these are the first of many more modifications I'm gonna to make to this car. So I'm gonna show you why I chose these five first and how I like them. If this is your first time on my channel, I make videos about technology, futurism, biohacking, stand-up comedy, and filmmaking. So hit the subscribe if you're interested in any of those things. The best upgrade I've made by far is this phone mount. So stick around to the end and I'll explain exactly why that is awesome. The first thing I noticed when I brought my Model 3 home is that the trunk wouldn't close. And I know a lot of people have had this issue with their trunks, so this is a Tesla thing. Hey, Tesla, fix your trunks. I like was freaking out because the trunk would not close. I like called Tesla. Uh, I think my car's defective. And the guy was like, just shut it like a man. I was like, okay, fine. I can close the trunk. It's like, it's fine, no, no big deal. One thing I also noticed about the trunk is that when you pop it, it doesn't lift up for you. My last Ford Fusion hybrid did that. I was kind of like, okay, you know, there's some trade-offs. I get the electric and, you know, it looks cool, it's fast and no gas and all that. But the trunk, man, come on, this trunk? Do I have to deal with this trunk? I found on EvanX.com, there's a few other places you can get it. I got mine from EvanX.com. You just change out the struts and bingo bango, it opens all the way for you. That's awesome. It's really nice to have a trunk that I can just kind of tap and it opens all the way for me. Before I put this on, I'd close the trunk and every time I'd be like, that's oh, probably closed, but I should check it just to make sure it doesn't like bump open on the ride. So with this one, because it pushes it all the way up for you, if you push it down and it sticks, it's closed. And if you want to take it to the next level, download Apple's Shortcuts app. Hey Siri, pop the trunk. And if you need a video to help you figure out how to work the Shortcuts app and build your own shortcuts, I've linked that in the description. I like this feature because I am tall and I'm strong enough to like close the trunk, but it is actually kind of hard to close. I've had people be like, your trunk's stuck open. I can't do it. Like my girlfriend cannot close my trunk. And that's an issue. So this is not the final solution. I've seen a much better trunk option that actually opens it all the way and closes it for you automatically. That thing's like five or $600 linked in the description. I haven't tried that yet, but that is next on my list. Gotta save up a little bit. The other thing I had to have, all weather floor mats. I know, I'm gonna piss some people off here. Carpet floor mats, yuck. All weather floor mats, they look awesome. They totally elevate the sportiness factor of your car. They just look good, they're easy to clean, but not only were the Tesla floor mats $150, but they were constantly out of stock when I was looking for them. There's a bunch of options out there actually for all weather floor mats. There's a very popular one, I don't know why, um, that's got this like honeycomb shape. I think it looks disgusting. I think it looks gross. I wanted something a little more, uh, Traditional, I don't need to make a statement with the floor mats. I wasn't too concerned also about having that Tesla logo on there. So I found these floor mats and I was a little worried about them, but they're dope. They fit perfectly. They look great. I thought they might suck, but they don't. They're actually dope. 
and way cheaper. These ones are from HEA. The link is in the description below. The one thing I will say about these floor mats is for the first like week, they smell like rubber. It makes your car smell like rubber for like one week. The first couple of days I was like, ooh, roll down the windows. But you know, people got in your car, it's a new car. They, they ooh, it smells new and you know, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know why Tesla d chose to put the piano black finish on the center console. I mean, it looks nice at first, but it gets all smudged up. It's like super easy to scratch. The reflections are crazy off of it. You get blinded if the sun's in the right spot. It also just doesn't look as good as carbon fiber. So I got a carbon fiber wrap from EV wraps. I watched a bunch of videos on center console wraps and I would definitely go with EV wraps because they've got awesome tutorials on YouTube about how to install it. It's just like makes the whole process super easy. It was my first time ever doing it. it took me about an hour and I think it turned out really, really good. And it's actually already worked to protect the center console because I had a GoPro suctioned onto the windshield and I don't know, it fell, it came undone and it fell straight on there. And I do have a little blemish now in the carbon fiber. Hopefully it's protected. This next one is like a couple of upgrades combined in one. I wanted a wireless charging unit that sits right there in the center console. In order to do this, you just stick that thing right in where the other one was and you know, you plug it into the USB down there. It does take up one of your USB charging ports and if you wanna enable dash cam and sentry mode, you've gotta have a USB stuck in the other one and then both your uh, charging units would be filled. And I have a GoPro in there I like to film, so I got a little splitter for USB. Powers both the charging unit and the USB and charges my batteries, and I still have an extra USB left over in case somebody wants to charge their iPhone. So yeah, the wireless charging unit plus the USB splitter, and you're in business. So the Model 3 has got this great big screen. Couldn't be happier with the simplistic looks of the car with that screen handling everything, except one complaint. You can't do anything on your phone from the screen. No text messages. I sometimes touch my phone when I'm driving, okay? I, I, I admit it. I, and come on, admit it. You touch your phone when you're driving. You're stuck in a red light, you check an email, you do something, you send a quick text. You're being safe. Now, if you're letting autopilot just sort of drive for you and you're like just, ah, oh, Tesla stock is up, then fuck you. Maybe you're going five miles an hour and you wanna like, you know, send a quick text. I'm not condoning it, but I'm guilty of it, okay? If you wanna do something like that, the safest way is to have your arm rested on something. You know, out of the corner of your eye, you could, you know, scroll up, find a, quickly find the right email, you know, uh, glance at it, uh, and you're good. In the Model 3, there's no good place to do it. And I tried a bunch of different things. I tried suction cups around the back of the monitor. I tried suction cups on the roof hanging down. Nothing could get the phone right in this perfect, right, proper zone for your hand to just be rested and to be able to easily do whatever you gotta do on your phone until I found this little mount. So one of the reasons I wanted to get the center console wrap is because I wanted to mount something on the center console and I didn't want to put 3M tape on it and have you know it possibly ruin the finish. You know, maybe I wanted to move the mount if I didn't, you know, like the right place for it and then I've got to deal with the blemish on my car. So that's why I got the center console wrap first and then I was able to mount this mount. This is a magnetic mount from Best Tricks. It's nice and tiny, it's like dark metal, really sort of inconspicuous, it blends right in with the center console. So I put that thing right in between the cup holders and I can just walk in, plop my phone right on there. Your hand is very supported by the center console and I just think this is the best version of a phone mount that I've seen 
on a Model 3. I'm even able to plug in a USB to the back USB ports and run it around the center console and very inconspicuously charge my phone while it's on that mount. The benefit to charging your phone with the cord in the center, I mean, sure, it's not as clean of a look as having it on the wireless charger, but it charges a lot faster. Those wireless chargers, they say fast charging. They're not fast charging. If you're using your phone at all in your car, it's gonna run out of battery and you want it charging on your trips. So not only does this put it in a much more functional place for your car ride and still look super sleek, you can also charge it way faster. So those are my first five upgrades to the Model 3. If you guys have any other upgrades or accessories that you love and I should do them or you think everyone should do them, please leave it in the comments below. I want to hear about it. I'm going to do a lot more things to my car. I think uh, I'm going to do a DIY Chrome delete, so I'll make a video about that. And I'm actually going to attempt to wrap my entire car myself. So look forward to a future video on that. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell. That's it. Tell them, tell them, tell them subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, Sub tell them to subscribe. <laughs>